hi guys uh, welcome back to my channel I'm making this video to show you how to set uh, your Lotus Note uh, 8.5 client to uh, receive and send mail on receive your your Gmail emails and then um, send uh, your your mail um, your your Gmail mails um, what we're going to do now uh, we're gonna go through some step uh, that I will explain um, on this video. The first thing we have to make sure that uh, our Gmail uh, settings allow uh, the POP. So the second thing we're going to create a new database to receive our mails and then the third step we're going to create a new location document uh, for Gmail and the third, uh, uh, the fourth step we'll make sure that we create a, po a POP uh, and the SM uh, TP account. So uh, let's go to our Gmail account, uh, our normal uh, mail. So I've logged in on mine already. So we're going to go on the top right corner and click on that button. And then we're going to have uh, a mail setting option. And then we're going to select it and click on it. Uh, we're going to have this view. On this view, we're going to look for forwarding and POP slash EMAP. So you click there and there we're going to choose enable uh, POP from mail that arrive from now because we want the, the mails that we're going to receive from now to get on our Lotus Note uh, uh, client. So we're going to click there and then we're going to click on save. So done with that. Uh, we go back in Lotus Note. The next step we have to do, we have to create a new mail file. So. Um, how do we uh, are we going to do that we're going to uh, files application new in the in the uh, uh, previous version I think it's gonna be files database new something like that so we're going to be uh, presented this uh, window so on this window, the, the new application window on the version, it should be called um, new new database or something. Like that. So the server here is where our file will be. Our file will be on the local machine. So it, we stay, we leave it on local. And then the title, the title will be the, the, the title that you're going to see on the icon on the workspace. So that will be like the shortcut to launch our database. So we're going to call it nations um, Gmail you know this is what we're going to see on the on the workspace and then this will be the file name that's the name of the file on the disk so we I will call it nation mail then I need to arrange it because this uh, file is located directly on the Lotus Note data folder because by default Lotus Note know that I have to put this file on the data folder we not gonna discuss about the data folder today uh, we're gonna have it on other video but this is not the purpose of this video so what I'm going to we're going to do I'm gonna try to arrange this in a way that our file is found inside the folder on the on the data folder so I will create a folder called mail01 um so um new and then mail and then select that folder so this our mail file will uh, reside there so i'll click okay and then you can see from here that uh, we have the path the full this is the full path so it's going to be this is my local disk c and then program file ibm uh, note uh, data and then mail that's the folder that we just created and this is the name uh, the file name dot nsf that we created so this is uh, our database then here we have the list of the template so our template is found on the local machine because it is the template that came with uh, the client so it's provided by lotus uh, ibm lotus note so we're going to look for the mail uh, template on this list uh, we have the mail template on the list uh, in case you you want to create another database and uh, you don't have the template on this list you can if it is if you show that it is provided by uh, by IBM so you can click on show advanced templates you will uh, should be uh, able to see that that that, that. I also made a, v a previous video on how to create a database you can go uh, it's uh, I went through the same uh, step that I'm explaining now so we're going to click OK to get our database uh, created. Okay, so our database is created. Uh, we're going to 
the first thing we're going to see after the creation of our database will be this well uh, this about uh, page to explain what the database is about so we you can read that uh, I don't have time for for it at the moment so I will close it uh, this is our just exactly the database that we or the, the, the database application that we just created so I will close um, this uh, for now so this is the icon and this is the title uh, that uh, we 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 you remember we we had I uh, mentions I uh, mentioned on on uh, previously nations uh, mail uh, gmail so what we're going to do now we're going to create a, a location document so prior before we create a location document if you have a new installed client like mine just make sure you have a TCP IP port first so how uh, we're going to go to file and then we go to preferences then we should have the Lotus Note preferences window and then on this list we look uh, for Note port so make sure you have TCP uh, here you know if you don't have a TCP here what I will advise you to do it's to if you have it like me just click OK and ignore the step if you don't have it you click on new and then you will choose TCP on this window and then you're going to type TCP there as the name and then you click OK uh, I'm not, not going. I'm not going to click OK because I've already created it. And then you're going to click on OK on this one to uh, to save the change. Then you have to uh, exit and restart or exit your Lotus Note and start it again or restart your Lotus Note so that the change uh, are saved on on your Lotus Note. So that's what you 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 you, you do uh, after uh, like uh, cre uh, creating the port in case you don't have a port. Uh, just remember that step so um, we're going to go and try to create a location document now so I will we will go at the, at the right at the bottom right and then click uh, on on this pattern it might be uh, online home or whatever location that you have my on, in my case mine is offline so I will click on the edit location uh, option then you're going to have uh, the preference uh, window again uh, this is just another way to get on the same window that we were previously so from here you're going to click on the new location I'm just going to try to make it a bit clear for you guys uh, so we're going to click on new we're going to have the this window coming up popping up so we uh, going to start with the basic tab on the basic tab for location name we can put any uh, name we want but I would call mine Gmail and then for location type it's going to be local area network for internet mail address it's gonna be my Gmail um, address so it's um, uh, the, the address that I want to get the mail from if you see so I will use my Gmail account um, so this client will be acting like when you access your 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 Gmail on on the browser. Uh, the other field we leave it the way they are, and then we're going to go to server. On server, on the home uh, slash mail server, what you're going to put um, there will be pop dot gmail dot com. On the port, we're going to make sure that we select TCP IP. On the mail, uh, mail file location, we have to change it to local. And then the mail file, we just have to make sure that we have our mail file. So our mail file, it's uh, we just have to make sure the name is the same. Uh, so um, if we go to the local machine where we created um, where we created our uh, mail we should know uh, what is it uh, what is the the location so I'm going to go there um, <coughs> excuse me excuse me for that um, okay this is uh, the file that I've created so uh, the file I've created is uh, on, on the C program file IBM Lotus note data mail so this is the name of the file so what we're going to do we just uh, we Lotus note will know by default where uh, this because it knows exactly where the data fold uh, the data um, folder is so we just going to need to have uh, the mail and then this name so 
I'm going to be doing this I will copy this name here and then we know here that uh, it's on the mail and then the file name is this okay so this is uh, let me just make sure that I'm right yes mails yeah mail mail with other s so uh, on the domino mail uh, mail domain uh, domino mail domain we leave it the way it is on the internet domain for uh, for note address when connecting directly to the internet uh, we're going to make sure that this field is gmail.com and then the other field we leave them the way they are and then uh, no we need to make sure that send outgoing mails or outgoing mail we have to select direct to the internet and then the other step we can also go to uh, we can as well check our advanced tab and then SSL we're going to here accept SSL site certificate yes accept uh, expire uh, SSL certificate yes negotiate um, uh, SSL protocol version we are going to choose V uh, 3.0 uh, with uh, 2.0 handshake so we're going to click there and then <coughs> done for uh, our location document so what we're going to do now we're just going to click on OK click OK to save the the settings then uh, we can go on OK again so we've created our <coughs> location uh, gmail as you see there so we're going to click ok we're going to be able to see uh, our location uh, if we go back to uh, the bottom right corner we click there where it says offline on or whatever it says on your machine we click once there and then we can select our gmail location uh, this way so uh, <coughs> the next thing we should do now if it is uh, by the way if our gmail uh, location is the current location we're going to see it uh, like this so we need to create uh, the account so uh, how to create the account our account we can go back to the same preferences uh, window we can go to files or file preferences here we have on top there we have accounts um, um, then on after clicking on the account you can you go to on the you go to the new account button on the new account button uh, after clicking you're going to have the new account window on the new account window you will uh, have the account name for account name we're going to call it uh, incoming um, incoming Gmail you can put a, what, whatever name you want description we can uh, say incoming mails from Gmail uh, you can leave it or whatever it's not compulsory so here for type what we're going to do on the list we're going to look for uh, pop or POP uh, SSL enabled so we're going to choose that because this we are setting uh, the POP account that the incoming account and then we're going to uh, in, uh, have the server there. the server will be pop.gmail.com and then for the login information it's your login on the on your gmail account so mine I will have it there my account with uh, you have to put the full name the way I'm putting it with the at gmail.com don't forget the at gmail.com so you have your password I won't tell you my password because I don't want uh, hackers to take over my stuff um, then you go uh, you go a bit down and then go to the advanced property on the advanced property 
uh, leave mail on server it's yes port number it's 995 uh, filled it's filled by it's filled by default default for you you leave it the way it is and then you have uh, accept SSL site certificate you you have it on yes accept uh, expire SSL certificate yes and then send SSL certificate when asked uh, no disable um, uh, verify account uh, server name with remote server certificate disabled and then here when, where it says uh, SSL protocol version we do like we did on our location document v.3.0 uh, uh, with 2.0 and check we click that and then we go at the bottom here for note location we we untick this and then we choose the gmail location document because that's the location document we're gonna be using uh, so we are done with this uh, account so we can click I just want to make sure that uh, we had uh, everything okay here uh, yeah and we're going to click on okay um, you're going to click on okay then we're going to create the last account that will be the account for outgoing email so the emails we're going to be sending uh, on the internet uh, so we're going to click on new account again so we're going to do gonna be a bit similar to the first to the first one. We're going to call it outgoing outgoing mails. And then <coughs> we on the description um let's uh, make sure I will call it outgoing Gmail. Let me do this. Yeah. Uh here I will say outgoing this one it's not uh, compulsory I'll say outgoing mails from Gmail and then here for server we're going to choose SMTP SSL enable and then for server we're going to say we're going to write SMTP dot gmail dot com and then the login detail will be exactly the same with the uh, the previous one so it's going to be our email our our gmail account uh, and then we're going to put our password there okay then we go at the bottom to the advanced properties uh, the port here we have two options either we can have it on 465 or if we don't have it on 465 uh, we can have our account on 587 please remember that because I'm going to to explain to you something if you get an error message when sending because a lot of people get problem when uh, sending like when they set accounts and they try to to they complain that they can't send when they send the uh, message they get like a SSL error invalid uh, SSL message failed with smtp.google.com or whatever uh, SMTP server that you're using so make sure if uh, five uh, 465 doesn't work uh, please use uh, five I'm just gonna try to type to type it 587 but here I'm going to I'm not going to use this one I'm going to use 465 and then for accept SSL certificates uh, we're going to say yes uh, for this one uh, we're gonna leave it on yes uh, accept expired SSL certificate and then for uh, um, send SSL certificate when asked we're going to leave it at no and disable this uh, here verify account server name we're going to leave it and disable and then uh, SSL protocol version we're going to take version 3.0 with uh, 2.0 and check we're going to choose that and then we go down to the location we do we're going to like we did in the on the previous uh, video so we're going to untick all the location we're, going, we're only going to have it set for the gmail uh, location that we've created so from here we've uh, done most of the work so just make sure that uh, everything is okay i will click on okay so we've uh, created both accounts so i will have to click on okay to uh, to save um, to accept the 
the changes that we've just made so we're going to um, make a test now so what we're going to do i'm going to i'm going to go back on my browser i will go to my other account that i call mbokako on the mbokako i'll create a new email this account is on hotmail so i will send the email to this email address but we're going to try to get it on lotus client so i will write my address to la nation at gmail.com and then the, i will call it test de la nation zero uh, zero one and then i will say here this is just a test okay so we're going to send the, the mail okay uh, stop spam are we are something that you uh, sending me uh, to stop spam or something ask you to enter before sending a message uh, I don't know what this one is says that uh, I'm going to to make it this way and then let's try to resend it again um, let's hope it goes through again no gmail doesn't want to let me okay i think i've sorted this issue because uh, uh this uh, is a bit stupid they maybe thought like i was spamming so i tried to they just wanted me to enter some character on the catcher i've done that on um, after clicking on pause so we're going to click on the send to try to send our message so let's hope that this time it's gonna uh, the uh, our message will go through um okay so it it looks like we su succeeded to send our message okay we succeeded to send our uh, message uh, so we have to check on our on my google account so my google account shows me that the message has been received so we're going back to lotus note and make sure that the lotus note has uh, recorded uh, or or um, managed to get our uh, message so uh, let's go on the lotus note client and then uh, as you can see here we need to replicate but i'll try and our mail uh, file so we're going to uh, after opening the mail file we're going to go to the replication page to uh, replicate uh, to 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 get our message so uh, let me go to uh, the open there and then launch the replication uh, the replicate the replicate the replication page so i will click to uh, the start now option so it should uh, start uh, replicating so we uh, if everything was set up properly so we should be able to to receive uh, our email so this is what we're going to try to, to see now so we see the replication uh, it's uh, going uh, <coughs> Uh, let wait as you see we receive one message so when we go to here um, we can try to refresh um, I guess F9 so as you can see here uh, we have received the message sent by no uh, that's uh, was that hotmail uh, account that I created so we're going to spend that email you can see this is the email we, uh, we received so we can try to reply on the email let's reply an email let's reply with history so we're going to reply and then tell him that uh, we've received and see if he's gonna get the our response so uh thanks man we're just going to say thanks man and send the message so after sending the message we're going to make sure we replicate again uh, I'm just going to there are other set up uh, setting that we can set to when we click on send uh, to get Lotus not uh, do the replication automatically but this is not uh, the, the reason of uh, this video today we're gonna make other video to explain those steps for those who don't know so I'm going to replicate to get my message sent on the internet so as you see there the replicator or application page tells us that the background is activated so as you see it's been sent and we don't have any error so in theory it should go it should be gone so as you can see here it says sent so let's go to our hotmail uh, account 
and see if it managed to receive the email so you can see the automail tells us there that there is one new message so we can go there on the inbox when we visit the inbox the inbox will tell us you can see here we have received the text one message okay so the message has been received so i will try to open the message you see i've opened up the message the text man has been received so this is um how you set up your lotus notes to get or to work on your gmail inside your client lotus Notes. so i will have to stop this video here and uh, i will be happy to see you on my next uh, upcoming video if you like this please register on my uh, channel i will have more to do to uh, more video to make so uh sorry for this uh, if this video was uh, too long but i had to explain a lot of things in detail because this uh, complicates a lot of people and the step that i've done here it's can uh, work on the version uh, on the older version of Lotus Note. I've uh, I have older version and I've done the same thing. It works. So I'll have to leave you here. So uh, thanks for watching the my videos. Uh, see you next time. Bye.